Hi, my name is Sean Buswell. Today I'm going to be covering the topic of groupthink. Now I know that it sounds like a made up word, but have you ever heard of a news story or an article talking about a group of executives who made a decision that seemed to be the most illogical outcome and wondered to yourself, how could they have thought that that was a good idea? Well, this is basically what groupthink is. Groupthink is a theory that was initially devised by Irving Janus, a Yale University research psychologist in 1972. Janus's original theory pertained to the overall attitude of a group as well as the decision-making process, but it was later decided that the overall attitude of a group is better described by a theory known as confirmation bias. Groupthink is now known for being a phenomenon that occurs within the group that has been tasked with making a decision. Oftentimes, within group dynamics, topics can shift and become a strange and altered sense of right and illogical due to the isolation of the group from outside opinion. Whereas taking things from a different perspective can often lead to a more rational outcome. After countless hours of study on the topic and reading many different journals and articles discussing groupthink, I've come to the conclusion that this is something that everyone would benefit from learning about how to spot when it is occurring, and more importantly, how to avoid it. Groupthink doesn't always involve big business or political groups. It is more than likely that you or someone you know has taken place in a twisted outcome of groupthink. One of the articles that I came across discussed the topic of groupthink in an online setting and how anonymity can affect a group of people on the internet's decision-making process. Of the data received, it was discovered that in situations of anonymity online, meaning that the identity of the group was hidden from the user, there was less likely a chance for groupthink to occur, in which the user conformed to the group's opinions and users were also more likely to stand up for the opinion that they believed was right as a whole. This points out something interesting about human behavior that often helps facilitate groupthink. The alone idea of having identity is enough to keep someone from voicing their opinion in a group, whether that being them knowing they will have to answer for their opinions when confronted by a group of person does not have the confidence to stay firm in their beliefs. Now, I'm not saying that this will happen 100% of the time, but it happens often enough in the dynamic of a group for this to be an issue that warrants discussion, as well as prevention. Another article that I read, one that I think is significant, talks about how to identify and prevent groupthink. This article proved the importance of remaining objective, as well as main maintaining a position that your opinion matters. Another key element to preventing groupthink is to establish diversity within the group. And while that is not always possible, it is something that should be considered when you are able to do so. In summation, groupthink is something that can occur during the decision-making process in any group, whether that be the board of a company deciding how to handle a new scandal or a group of friends deciding what to do over the weekend. In any case, the most ethical thing to do is to avoid groupthink by asserting your opinion and not to be ashamed of if your ideas differ from the group. In any situation that the group that groupthink may occur, oftentimes the most beneficial thing to do is take a step back and look at the picture as a whole. You'll find that a new perspective can often change your outlook.